Jarvis AI promises to help you save time and money by providing a powerful copywriting AI, pre-made templates, pre-built workflows, and an intuitive and human-like AI writer. Jarvis AI is one of the fastest growing AI copywriters in the market with an average rating of 4.9 stars out of 5. In today's video, we'll be doing a full in-depth tutorial on Jarvis AI and we'll be looking at the pricing, the templates, the technology, and the team behind Jarvis AI to really see if it lives up to the hype. So we'll go over pricing very quickly. As you can see, there's three different pricing models for Jarvis. The first is the starter package. Now the starter package will get you 20,000 words, which means you can generate 20,000 words in the month, and that's 30 bucks per month. And the pro will get you unlimited words, and that's $109 per month. And the highest package is the boss mode plan, which is $119 per month. If you only need to do short form copy, such as Facebook ads, Instagram posts, and cold emails, then the starter plan may be enough for you. But if you're doing long form content, such as blog posts, ebooks, or any sort of long form content, then the Pro Unlimited would be a good option. And included in both the Pro and the Boss mode is the long form editor. Now the long form editor is where you'll be able to create blog posts, articles, ebooks, and any sort of long form content. But the difference between the pro and the boss mode is that on the boss mode, you have access to a couple different features. In the boss mode, you have access to Jarvis commands. You also have access to unlimited runs, which means your compose button in the boss mode would always be available. And also in the boss mode, the AI is a little bit smarter. When you're writing a long form post, the AI is able to see a lot more characters or a lot more words when compared to the pro. So ideally, you should get better output if you're upgraded to the boss mode. So to really understand the difference between the boss mode and the pro unlimited, you would have to sort of go into Jarvis and start playing around. So once you sign up for the Jarvis pro unlimited or the boss mode plan, this is what your dashboard will look like. As you can see, you'll have access to a bunch of different templates that would be useful depending on what sort of content you're writing. So all of the pre-made templates are exactly the same within the pro mode and the boss mode. But if you're only on the starter plan, then you wouldn't have access to the long form assistant. You would have access to every other template, but not the long form assistant. So I highly recommend if you're new to Jarvis AI, that you start with the pro or the boss mode. In this way, you'll have access to all of the templates and you'll have some time to play around with it because you do get a five day trial. And after those five days, you'll have a better idea of whether or not you only need the starter plan or you need the pro plan or you need to upgrade to the boss mode plan. We'll leave a link below this video in which you can get started with a five day trial. So I would highly recommend that you sign up and you follow along as we go ahead with this tutorial. So to use any of these templates, we'll just click on any one of the icons here. Now the most popular template is the long form assistant. And this is where you'll be able to create long form blog posts, articles, and different long form copy. So once you get started with a long form assistant, you can start from scratch or you can do a blog post workflow. Now, I always like to start with the blog post workflow. Now, the first thing that you want to do is start describing the content that you want to create. So to start using the long form assistant, we're going to describe the content that we want to create. So we need to give the AI some input as to what we want to write about. So if you're writing a blog post about the different types of coffee beans, then we would want to describe that content right here. You want to keep in mind that the quality of the output that you get is based on the quality of the input that you give the AI. So we want to be as descriptive as possible when describing the content. And once you describe the content, you can add your keywords in if you'd like. I usually don't add my keywords in because I find that I get better outputs without it. And for the title, I'm just going to click generate ideas and the AI will give me a title. Okay. And if you want more ideas, you can just click right here but um, this title is pretty good. So I'm going to use that one. And again, same thing for the intro paragraph, just click 
uh, compose intro paragraph and it'll give you some options for intro paragraphs. And you're just gonna wanna read through these and figure out whichever one makes the most sense to whatever you're writing about. And you're gonna click use this one and then we're gonna click open editor. And from here, we can already see that we have a intro paragraph here and the AI has already started to write a couple of different copies that we can use within our blog post. So one of the main differences between the Pro Unlimited and the boss mode plan from Jarvis is that on the boss mode, the compose button is always available. So if you're on the Pro Unlimited version, when you're writing, this wouldn't always be available. But within the boss mode version, I can continually click this and I'm gonna get outputs. Now, if you wanna access the different templates that are included in Jarvis and use them within your blog post, you just have to head over to the power mode. And from the power mode, you'll be able to use every single one of the templates that we saw on the dashboard of Jarvis. So when you're creating a blog post, you probably want to do an outline before you get started with your blog post. So in order to create an outline, again, we go over to the power mode and then we'll click blog post outline. And from here, I'm going to write the title or I'm going to describe my content. And once I'm happy, I'm going to generate AI content. And as you can see, we have a pretty good output here. Again, if you want more outputs, you can just click um, generate AI content. But this seems to be pretty good, so I'm gonna copy this. And when you're using the long form assistant, you always wanna make sure that you're using this left-hand section. What this does is, is that it updates the AI on the content. So for instance, now we're writing about Arabica beans, we wanna make sure that the AI knows that we're writing about this subtopic. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a feature that's included in the boss mode, but is not included in the Pro Unlimited. And that feature is called Jarvis commands. I'm going to write a command, but before I enter the command, I'm going to put three asterisk. And what this does is, is that it makes sure that Jarvis does not read anything from above this asterisk. So it just helps you to make sure that you get original output when you use these commands. So you're just going to highlight that command and we're gonna click Command Enter. We're just gonna clean this up again here. And as you can see, we have a pretty good content brief here. So what we can do is we can copy this. And as you can see, by using that command, we now have some copy about Arabica beans. So now I'm going to use the compose function to see what sort of output we get. So again, what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to use the three asterisk and I'm going to prompt the AI by starting the sentence. And I'm gonna start by saying Arabica beans originated and then I'm gonna click compose. And as you can see, now we get some pretty good output. So it talks a little bit about Arabica beans, where it originates from, the tree that it comes from, and so on. And you do just wanna repeat this process for all of your other subtopics for your blog post. And once you're finished with your blog post, you can get a conclusion done by heading over to the power mode. And again, we can enter the main points of our blog post and you can copy your intro or you can write whatever the blog post was about and generate the AI content and you should get a pretty good conclusion. And again, this one's pretty good here. So again, once you get it, you just copy it and paste it over. So I'm sure you guys can see how quickly you're able to create content using Jarvis AI. Now the main differences between the Pro Unlimited and the Boss Mode is, is that on the Pro Unlimited, Jarvis is only able to see 600 characters which means you get a little bit more of duplicate content and it makes it a little bit harder for Jarvis to follow the documentation pattern. But on boss mode, Jarvis is able to see two to 3,000 characters, which means you're able to get less duplicate content. You also have access to Jarvis commands. So as you saw, we used the commands such as Jarvis write a content brief, but you can also use commands such as Jarvis write a conclusion, Jarvis write a blog post summary for the above text and so on. And lastly, on the boss mode, your compose button is unlimited. So as you can see, the compose button is always available on the boss mode. 
but if you're on the Pro Unlimited, you may need to give some input and then the Compose button will be available. Another really cool and useful template from Jarvis is the Facebook ad headline and the Facebook ad primary text templates. So you'll just select whichever template you wanna use. And from here, all you need to do is enter the name of the company or product, a description of the product, and whichever tone of voice that you wanna use. So let's say your product or company was an SEO tool and the description of that tool would be an SEO software that helps agencies manage, track, get more clients and make more money. And as you can see, once you generate the AI content, you just wanna go ahead and read through these and this output is pretty good. So this can help you again, create your whole Facebook ad or if you're running into some writer's block, uh, I'm not sure as to what to include into your Facebook ads, then this tool can really help you sort of get some ideas, but also even give you a completely ready to use Facebook ad. And another very useful template is called the content improver. So what this essentially does is, is that you can take a piece of content that you've created or that you found online. And if you want to rewrite that content, then you can do so here. So for instance, if I wanted to rewrite the piece of content from one of my blog posts, I would just copy that paragraph. And when you're using the content improver, you can only do a limit of 600 words. So just keep that in mind. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy the old content, click generate AI content, and you're just going to want to go through the outputs and read through them and see whichever one you like the best. And you can use that instead of the old content. And if you're creating short form content for social medias such as Instagram, LinkedIn, or Twitter, you can use a couple different templates. One is the AIDA framework, which uses the framework of attention, interest, desire, and action. So let's say you wanted to create a blog post about a new product that you have. So you would just describe the content and the name of the product and you'll click compose. As you can see, we have some pretty good outputs here. So you can always remove the headers here and use this for Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, or any social media. And you can even use this template for Facebook ads as well. If you're a content creator and you create videos on YouTube, you can also use the YouTube video templates, which helps you to create descriptions, titles, and even hooks and introductions. So if you wanted to use the video script hook and introduction, you would just enter the title of the video. So once you enter the title of the video, you would then click generate AI content and you can go through the different outputs and you can get a good idea of what you should include in your introduction, or you can just use the introduction that's given by Jarvis. But all of these templates are a great way for you to get ideas for content. For these reasons, I believe that Jarvis AI is truly the best AI copywriter in the market right now. The technology, the features, the team is simply unmatched when it comes to different AI copywriters. I highly recommend that you guys give it a try and use it within your business and see how we can help you create content a lot faster. As always, if you guys like this video, then we ask that you give this video a thumbs up and that you subscribe for more tutorials. Until the next video, stay well.